singer announces his curtain call in branch and hello ever again everybody i'm david oliver and i'm ashley Ketz. the christmas season will be the last for tony orlando he is the latest in the chorus to leave the live music show capital of the world color 10's kevin schwaller looks at how the tune in branson is singing now kevin we found an optimistic attitude today the people we spoke with say branson is changing not fading as snow falls, Branson, the destination, hibernates. Theaters rest. You can nearly drive the Strip without touching the brakes. This is another one of Gary's Chris stroking. Dodson works at the Strip's Boy, first theater. I, I started on the Presley Show back in 1985 as uh, one of their male vocalists. He's seen acts come and go, and he doesn't think the music that runs through this city is nearing a finale. But, you know, I, I, think, I think what you might see are more uh, stars coming in on what we call a one-off type of showing where it would be like a limited engagement. We spoke with the president and CEO of the Branson Lakes Area Chamber of Commerce and Convention and Visitors Bureau, Ross Summers. He admits 2012 was a tough year. It started with a tornado. Yakov doing the traveling with the passing of Andy Williams. Now this announcement for Tony Orlando. Right. Is Branson going to be able to stay the live music capital? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we will still have 40 to 50 live entertainment venues. Visitors may be looking through their vacation photos or maybe one of those old time pictures they got here and seeing a very different Branson from the one they saw years ago. People that were here 10 years ago, and this is their first trip back since then, they tell us that uh, they probably wouldn't recognize Branson. Summer says change is part of entertainment's nature, and new shops and acts emerge as some veterans leave. And Branson's allure lies not only in performers and this industry, but these hills that have been drawing visitors here for decades. Summer says Southwest flights into Branson also open up another marketing opportunity targeting cities that use that airline. All right, Kevin.